In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can screencast your Oculus Quest 2 headset gameplay to another device such as your phone, a computer, or even a TV. So gameplay on the Oculus Quest 2 can be a lot of fun and maybe it can be even more fun if you uh, invite others, family, friends to watch you playing uh, and they can see your gameplay by screencasting to another device such as a phone, TV, or computer. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. And if you're new here, my name is Jeff and uh, I do all sorts of tech tutorials including I've done other videos on the Oculus Quest 2 and you can find those linked down in the video description below. So now when you are screencasting or recording on your Oculus Quest 2, it does by default put a little red dot right in your viewing area as a notification that you are casting and if that's something that you want to turn off there's an ability to do that and I'll show you how to do that if you stick around till the end of the video. So first I want to show you guys how you can screencast to your phone and what I did is I downloaded the Oculus uh, app and then with the app installed go ahead and make sure you're logged in. From that point you want to get to your main explore screen as you can see here and uh, when you're in your main explore screen you want to go to the upper right corner and there is a icon that looks like your oculus glasses uh, showing like a casting of lines coming out of it you want to go ahead and tap on that particular icon now that's going to take you to this screen and it'll show you at the top your quest 2 it'll show your wi-fi network and it'll say uh, that it's going to cast to this phone you can then hit the start button and that is going to start casting onto your phone it does take a couple of seconds to connect but once it's connected now i've got the oculus uh, headset on you can see right on uh, my phone exactly what i'm seeing as far as looking through the glasses i also want to let you guys know that in every one of the videos on this channel i hide tinker our little hidden robot and he's actually hidden in this video as well he's going to pop up somewhere if you happen to spot him popping up take note of the timestamp. that's the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and be the first person to let me know the correct timestamp of Tinker down in the uh, comments section below. And you might be like Donnie R getting a shout out in one of my future videos. And I'll even put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So next I want to show you guys how you can screencast your Oculus to your television. Uh, it is going to need to be a TV that has an HDMI port. And you are going to need something like a uh, Chromecast. This is made by Google um, you can uh, find these online. I'll actually leave a uh, link down in the video description if you want to check out more information on this. You, they're fairly inexpensive and you actually get a deal if you buy them in a multi-pack, like usually a two-pack. Uh, and it's fairly quick and easy to set up. Um, you are going to need to connect it to your Wi-Fi, so you will need to have Wi-Fi as well. But once you have your uh, Chromecast hooked up, uh, you can go to your television and choose the appropriate input. So in this instance on my TV, I am choosing HDMI port number one. That takes me to my uh, Chromecast and we've got it set so it just kind of rotates through some pictures. And uh, from this point we can see what the Chromecast is showing. Now what we can do is go back to our phone. So on our phone in the uh, Oculus app, if we go to that screencasting button in the upper right, uh, as I showed in the first step, you can choose your phone to cast on. In this instance now, if we pull this down, it'll say at the bottom of your screen, cast to this phone or other device. Uh, as long as I've got my phone and my Chromecast on the same Wi-Fi, it's going to show up here and show me any other devices that we have set up. I'm in our family room, so we're going to cast to our family room TV. And from this point, I can see now that the family room TV is connected. I can go ahead and hit start. And now you can see on our television what is being cast from the Oculus Quest 2. So let's talk about screencasting to a computer. Uh, you can go into any type of a browser such as Google Chrome. And from that point, uh, go ahead and bring up a browser window and go to oculus.com forward slash casting. That's going to take you to this page where you're going to log in to your Oculus account. So once you're logged in uh, from that point in the headset, you're going to bring up the Oculus menu using your right joystick. You'll hit the O button 
and by pressing that O button that is going to bring up the control panel on your oculus screen and once you have this control panel up on your screen you want to click on this arrow button to start sharing this is going to bring up your sharing window and in this upper left corner you will have this cast button if you tap on this cast button from here it'll say cast from this headset and uh, you have uh, options as far as the oculus app and in this instance you're going to be casting to your computer so you would go ahead and click on that computer and then the next button down at the bottom and from this point you are now casting onto your computer screen now by default you are going to get this truncated window where you've got the black bars on the sides on your computer when you're logged in and seeing the uh, screencast you can actually go down to this gear icon in the lower right corner and when you tap on that it gives you an option here where you can widescreen crop. So we're going to go ahead and tap that. And now we do have a full screen view, the same view that we would have on the headset. We also have options where we can tap these arrows and that is going to truly make this full screen on our computer monitor. So another solution to cast to your TV is by using the uh, web cast when you logged in on your computer if your laptop computer has an hdmi port on the side of it and if you've got an hdmi cable you can connect one end from your uh, laptop computer and the other end into the hdmi port on your tv select that appropriate port on your tv and once you've got those plugged in on my tv once i selected the correct hdmi port the uh, screen automatically pops up on my TV and now I'm seeing what's on my laptop computer also on my TV. So when you are recording or when you're screencasting, that's going to put this little red dot on your screen. Now if that's annoying and you don't want that, if you uh, move your joystick over this area on your dashboard, you'll see this quick settings. And if I click on that, uh, that brings me to the quick settings area. From here, I can actually go up to settings. And then in settings, I can search for different things. I'm just going to go ahead and search for red dot. And that search for the red dot brings up this video capture indicator. This video capture indicator is what you want to turn off. And I turned it off on mine because it was kind of annoying. That's how you can do that by just flipping the switch. And then when you're done in here, you can X out of settings. So I'm interested to know, are you able to successfully cast your screen onto some sort of a device? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're interested in other videos, including how to record your Oculus Quest 2 gameplay, uh, seeing some of the setup and unboxing and more, you can check out other Oculus Quest 2 videos down in my Oculus Quest 2 playlist at the bottom of this video. So my name is Jeff, this is Tinker Ford. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.